Hi, welcome to this week's episode. Today we're talking about text on Final Cut Pro. Jumping straight into the software, we have a project here set up with a couple of images and let's say we want to do a introduction. You want to go in here. Oh, by the way, if that's not open, just make sure you double click here. Make sure that's selected, but you want to go on this TNG, which is generators and titles. If you just click on titles, on top that will show you all the different titles you have 99.9% .9 of the time I'll just go for custom it's just text you get here a selection of fonts whatever fonts you have on your computer will appear here and you can see the text over there as you're doing things here make sure your text is selected wave killer adventure this checking specifically is doing on the top of each other which is perfect for me to show you make sure your text is selected here scroll down and line spacing that's the line between your text so if for some reason you get a weird text that does what mine just did you can just come here and readjust that you got tracking which is Kind of how wide it is baseline will give you a little flexibility up and down in here pro down we get positioning rotation scale all these weird things if you want to make in 3d text face this is something that i find very useful if you want to change the color of your text you just come in here and you get either pre-selected options very basic colors you can go to rgb sliders something that i find very useful if you're working with a client and the client has a particular color for their logo and for some reason they don't send you a brochure with the color but you have their logo you can click in here let's say the the color is green click there let's say you're gonna do a bunch of text and you need that color all the time you don't want to keep clicking because it might happen that you get different tones of that green now you can grab this color and throw it in here every time you open this color template now this will be in here and you can just quickly select a current problem that happens all the time that i see people dealing with you have this really long text kind of like that and you notice that it starts cutting on the side Panica has this invisible square where the text can be and any bigger than that it starts cropping it's a very annoying thing but a way around that is whenever you're here make sure you're on text uh site font size make sure that's small enough to fit in that invisible square you can see here uh, but you want your text bigger and then you go on video preferences up in here and then you can scale the actual and then here you can go as big as you want here you won't have any limitations then you can change positions let's say you want something in the wave i want wave killer to be more predominant as is the main name let's say you have a text like this where i have a, a text and a subtext if you just select the part that you actually want to change any change that you make can be done without you having to have multiple text files that's the title of our film wave killer an adventure of a lifetime this video is a little longer than i intended but text tends to be very complicated if you have any questions about panaka in general something that you really want us to cover here on basics let me know down below and i'll get to it but for now thank you for watching and i'll see you next week